the new 4.5 Abyss is out, and it's actually not that bad. So there are some annoying enemies, but generally I think if you do Hydro Electro top half, you'll be fine. And then if you happen to have a Geo team, then you'll be fine on the bottom half. This is a Geo patch, so it makes sense that Geo teams will be strong. Because I happen to have both a Freena Taser team and a Mono Geo team, that's what I'll showcase today. This is my account's full power, so I'm using my two best teams. So 12-1 is nothing crazy. It's just two waves of enemies. They spawn close to each other, so just run slightly behind the first wave so that you'll be in, in the right position for the second wave. The second half is just the Jade Plume. It's pretty easy. It hits hard, but it doesn't have any fancy mechanics. It just bursts him down as quickly as possible. If you have an Electro unit, you can actually knock him down, and then he'll like fall on the ground and be vulnerable for a while. However, if you're running Mono Geo, then yeah, run Zhongli so that you won't take any damage. For the second chamber, there's three waves of enemies. So there's first a wave of specters that are very easily groupable, so Kazuo would be really good here. Then there's three Whopper flowers that are also easily groupable, so Kazuo again is very good here. Then after you beat the Whopper flowers, there's four of these um, annoying... I don't know what they are, but they're pretty annoying. They deal quite a lot of damage and they're pretty tanky, but they don't move very fast, so you can just keep them clumped together and do some AoE damage. For the PMA, this fight is kind of annoying because he phases once you get him low enough, and then you have to kill an add. He also flies up and it's hard to hit when you're playing Ito, but in general just try to do as much damage as possible, force him to phase, and then when he phases, try to kill the ad as fast as possible. There's ways to manipulate the ad to force it to come to the positive mental attitude. In this run, I kind of screwed up because I used Ito's ultimate, forgetting that the PMA phases and so I wasted almost all of my alt uptime but I still cleared in a decent time. For Chamber 3, first half is the Dirge of Capellia. It's a pretty easy fight because she just stays in the middle, so there's no running around trying to chase an enemy, but they hit very hard and there's a lot of stagger, so try to dodge the attacks if possible or bring a shielder, or someone with interruption resist like Beidou or Xingqiu. For the second half, it's this Geo Crystal Ball thing. It starts with a shield, use Geo attacks or Claymore attacks or just plunging attacks to break the shield. Then when the shield's broken, you can do some big damage to it, but it will regain its shield after a while and you'll have to break the shield again. Then just repeat the shield breaking process to expose it one more time for more damage. Stay 
stabilized. So what I like about this abyss is there's no chasing around enemies or manipulating their AI. The enemies mostly just stay in place or can be easily grouped by Kazuha. This makes it very easy to just focus on your rotation. Again, this clear was done by my strongest team that I have. I'll probably put out a clear with less invested characters because no one really is surprised that a C6 Freena can clear or top 1% Ito can clear comfortably. But all in all, I think this abyss is not that bad. It's pretty straightforward. I'm working on some more quick guides, but if people are struggling on the abyss, I'll try to do a lower investment clear with more relatable characters.